Hi, welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to do a VR to Becca from Becca Tarot and Talk. And um, just want to talk about um, tarot decks that have keywords on them. As you can see, I have four tarot decks here that I use at different times for, um, for people and for myself, but mainly for people in that when I do readings. And this one is the Native American Tarot. This is like the first deck that I ever had originally. And it, and it helped learn the tarot with having the words on them. Um, not the, not the, minor, uh, not the um, aces and not the court cards and not the majors. But certainly some of the um, minor arcana has, have words. Like, you know, not every card, but at least all the minor cards have them. From 2 to 10. Like Seven of Vessels is Vision Quest, Seven of Pipes is Counting Coup. Some of the words I had to go and look up, like there was um, the Sun da Giveaway Dance. Okay, so I had to go and find out what the Giveaway Dance actually mean for the Six of Shields. Um, Crevoir and Two of Blades, I had to go and find out what did that actually mean. Ten of Pipes, talked about mockery. Didn't give it was easy, happy family. Oh, five of Blades was spiritualist. Those sort of things were a little bit tricky. Oh, Nine of Shields with Thunderbird. I had to go and find out what was the story behind it. You know, why did she use those um, meanings in the cards? You know, what did it mean? How did it connect? And all those sort of things. So, yeah. Other than that, this was an amazing deck to begin with, for me, in regards to connecting to the stories of, oh, like Eight of Vessels was Indolence. 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 I don't know how you pronounce that. Right. That one was, it, was the Eight of Vessels. You know, when you're feeling a bit despondent, if you like. Oh, yeah, that's a bit despondent. Three of Blades said mourning. It was a very a card of grief to me. So that's how I learnt it. Nine of Pipes was about being defiant. You know, even though when they were going, oh, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. Well, yes, I can. I can persevere and do it my way. Or Nine of um, Blades with polygamy. Polygamy. Nine of um, Vessels, the Wish card. Oh, Seven of Shields with the Trail of Tears. I mean, that was a card that sort of I looked at first and thought, what, 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 what does that mean? You know, what's that about? Seven of Shields and Trail of Tears. You know? It's like you've been displaced from your home. You know, you're feeling displaced. So there's a lot of that coming through. Anyway, so that was that deck that I did. And then the um, Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine. I'd resisted and resisted getting the deck, of course. And then, of course, circumstances changed. So I like the way that the um, has a little bit of a meaning at the bottom here, especially when working with the angels. are quite cool. I find it really helps with some of the messages in that. And then you've got, like, the court cards. And I can find a court card here. Like the Queen of Fire tells you com um, confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. So you've got her personalities there. And then stretch your wings and flying. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So I find it sort of gives you a bit of a clue if you suddenly have a blank. Especially with court cards, they can be sometimes unsure of, of what the message is about. The other one I got was the Thoth card of Thoth or Toth, whatever you like to say, and it's, um, some of the miners, of course, have um, have um, keywords on the bottom, like the seven of of cups is debauch, you know, debauchery. Then you've got um, five five of discs with worry. So I found that quite good for me to begin learning the Thoth, you know, to start off with was just having those keywords sort of helped give me that, the assistant. 
and then the right away at Smith again you've got the keywords at the bottom this was secrets of the tarot so this is sort of based on right away imagery of course it's not exact it's sort of a photo and it's quite graining imagery of course it's, it's not top quality but it's good for what I you know for what a right away deck Smith and even though it's got the keywords in there a lot of times I don't even use them once I know what the card is King of Discs, I mean, or King of Pentacles, I know exactly what, what to say about it, you know, for me, I usually get the message, the messages come through, and that's that, so I think keywords are great on some decks, and I'm pleased that there's lots of decks that don't have keywords, a lot of decks that allow you to open up maybe a bit more with your intuition, like I find maybe with some of these decks, I don't have to be so in tune, if you like, I can be a little bit more, um, I can just, re you know, can a little bit more connect to the cards in a way by just, just looking at the words and reading them, you know, getting a real clear, simple message for the client. I mean, I love the Marielle Tarot if I'm looking at a deck without, um, without keywords. I think each picture tells quite a lot about it, you know, as you move through the, each card so yeah I think it depends I think there's so many amazing decks out there that you can choose with keywords or without keywords and I love them either way this has turned into a very quick a very short um, video I sort of redid it because I realized I still had my banner up and I thought oh my god I don't want the banner up for this so anyway that's it so for Becca at Talk and tarot yeah I quite like keywords on some decks and I think the five cent deck really suits it like I've looked at images of it even though it's not a deck that I have I think it is a deck that um, neat that sort of requires you to have the keyword on it it sort of suits it so I think whatever the artist first envisioned I think their first impression I think counts if you know what I mean I think when an artist has an idea and they go with it first time to change it I don't think works so personal personal decision but I love yeah definitely there's certain decks that need keywords and I think they're great so take care and blessed be thank you for um, taking a look and I'd love to see what your thoughts or what decks do you have that have keywords on them and what are your thoughts about um, keywords on tarot anyway take care and blessed be